Don't say my name in vain This is my world, so it's all in my favor I like all girls, yeah, all type of flavors Hi guys, welcome back to my channel And in today's video, we got something different You know, something crafty So today we're gonna be making my own well, I'm gonna be making my own acrylic powders. You know, when I saw a couple of videos, I actually saw it on TikTok first. And then I looked up more videos on YouTube and I was like, why haven't I thought of this? I had this acrylic powder. I mean, this, I had this pastel colors for the longest and I really didn't think to make my own acrylic powders. So pretty much what I did was I went to Dollar Tree and I bought these little containers. They were like a dollar something. It come with 10 in a pack. So I bought those and then I already had this because I draw, I do art or whatever. So I'm gonna be using some of these to be making my own powder. So if you have chalk or if you have pastel colors or whatever, use it and then go to your Dollar Tree, Rite Aid, whatever, and get you some containers. And you're also gonna need white acrylic powder and clear acrylic powder you're also going to need your e-file or i'm using my e-file and you're going to need a one of your bands or whatever your bits i keep saying bands you're going to need one of your bits i think i'm going to use my fine bit okay i'm back so these are the colors that i picked just in case it doesn't work out we're going to test the pink one first like we're going to grind it up add the acrylic powder and see how it comes out first then we're gonna do the rest of them and i'm probably not gonna record all of this because it's too much so i'm gonna record how i do the pink one and then i'll be right back you want to hold it over your little container and literally you're just gonna like grind it like this i'm gonna put it on five and then you're just gonna see that like that Ooh, that looks satisfying okay so just do this until the whole thing is gone. need your um cuticle pusher just to help mix the stuff in so we're gonna mix this there was a piece that didn't get to um oops i wasn't even in frame my bad oh yeah there was a chunk that just broke off so i'm gonna try and mush it down because listen, you need this to be as smooth as possible. So we're going to go in with the clear acrylic. I don't know how much to use. Because I really don't want to waste my clear. Like, I use my clear for a lot. So just make sure there's no more color on here. Like, wipe it off. I don't know. I saw some people do it like this. And then scoop, like, six scoops. I'm going to do four. Then mix it up. I need to do like a lot more than that pretty much you want there to be more clear than the chalk or the pasta whatever I don't know how much I just did but I should have probably been counting so I can make everything even inside of the clear y'all I really don't know how much I'm just gonna do this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some white because I saw a video where they just added clear and it kind of looked you want it to be pigmented you don't want it to be kind of transparent you know what I mean you know what I mean so you want to add a little bit of I'm not even like rationing this out I'm really just eyeballing it so just add a little bit of white 
so the color isn't like see-through you want it to be pigment like the color that i'm looking at right now that's how i want it to be on my nails just mix that up very really good this doesn't even look like acrylic powder so hopefully this works because i'm gonna be really mad if i just wasted all this always test out one because imagine if i grinded up all of those colors just for it to not work all right so i'm gonna go get paper towels so we can test out this color to make sure it's the right amount of you know clear and white acrylic in there and then i'm gonna do it to the rest and then that's it i'll be back pour a little bit of monomer because i don't want to waste it Okay, and then you're just gonna do it the same as that. I feel like I'm gonna need, I'm definitely gonna need some more like white and clear. So just do like how you normally would. That's really pretty. Look at that color, like the actual chalk. Yeah, you see that? Hold on, I gotta show y'all inside of the thing. Yeah, it's not smooth. Like, if you look inside of there, it's like wet. Like, this is wet. Damn it, why is it wet? Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a lot more clear into this. Alright. And then mix that up. So, like I said, you need more acrylic powder than chalk. So. I'm gonna probably add a little bit more. That looks a lot better. Okay, let's see if this is better. So when you do every color, you wanna test every single color, okay? You wanna test every single color. That's a little bit better. You wanna test every single color just to make sure, cause it's not gonna be the exact same amount. I really should have never did my nails because like it looks good like on the paper like the consistency looks fine on the paper but i know when i do my nails i'm trying to smooth my nails out actually this bead looks pretty good y'all see that bead yeah that looks good all right i think this is good enough i think this one is good if you look closely you could kind of see the difference. Can y'all see the difference? Of like, this was my first one, these two are my first ones, and then look at this one that I just did. This one looks a lot more smoother. So your goal is to try and get it to look like this. This is what it looks like in the container. I'm gonna do one more color on camera and then the rest of them. I don't know yet. I'm gonna just do one more on camera. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So this is what the aftermath looks like. Just look at my hands. These are all the colors, like swatched out, and then this is all of the acrylics. So I'm gonna clean up real quick because this is a hot mess and my tripod has like a bunch of colors all over it now. And then we're gonna close out this video because that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so this is how all of the acrylics turned out. They look really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, but what I would recommend is instead of using the cuticle pusher to mix the acrylics together, the like the clear acrylic and the chalk, I would, you could do that, but I would recommend putting the lid on and shaking it up. And also maybe you guys should try using the coarse, um, using a coarse bit instead of a fine one. Maybe that would grind it up a little bit more smoother. Cause there's a little bit of chunks in here i was doing a practice now using these acrylics and it was like you know a little bit of grains you know showed up on it just a little bit it's not really that noticeable if you don't know what it is but i can see it a little bit but i would just recommend i don't know trying to mash it up with something like a spoon or wooden not wooden or a metal spoon or something so it could look a little bit more smoother but other than that the application was nice the colors was nice everything turned out pretty good so yeah that's pretty much it for this video make sure you like comment subscribe and if you want more of natalie marie come back for another video and deuces